Thursday night. It's about 7.45 and we are headed over to Drong Lake Gardens. We're gonna go and see the light show for mid-autumn festival. We are tired. <laughs> I am too pregnant, but it ends on Saturday. So we're gonna go and check it out now. So let's go. Last year there was a lot more lights on the pathway into the park, but now we're just coming onto the main. Mommy, 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 mommy! <laughs> What's up? Mommy! We found them. Let's go and check out the lights. things about living in Singapore because it is so multicultural is there's always events like this on that are study that are, that are celebrating uh, Chinese culture Malay culture Indian culture uh, even some events for like Western culture pop up every once in a while so we really love coming here and exposing Bodhi especially because she's been in Chinese language class so she's been learning all about mid-autumn festival at school so she wants to tell you a bit about what she's learned the mid-autumn festival is to wish the girl who went up to the moon to come down. And it's because a really poor man, he had to go so far away. He wanted to go home, but in China, there was no phones, no nothing, no TV and no iPad. So he couldn't call his family. So that's why it's sad and poor. So that's why we make lanterns of the girls. That's why we make lanterns or like pictures to celebrate to, to, to make sure that no one can miss their family. And what happens at the Mid Autumn Festival? What happens to the moon? It gets big and round. Where is it? Where's the moon? It's up in the sky. It's right there. It's behind that tree right now. It's big and round. It's a full moon, right? Yeah, but today it's it's smaller because tomorrow it's the full one. Yes. And hey, question: What do kids carry around at the Mid Autumn Festival? Lanterns. So lanterns. And what do you eat at Mid Autumn Festival? Moon Tell me. Cake. Moon cakes. But we can't get any because you brought no money. <laughs> that is true. I didn't bring any money. We're just here Fridays and Saturdays here at the Lights by the Lake. They have live music and a stage and performers, which is pretty cool. And then they also have heaps of snacks, kind of like a little, like fair food, I guess. Kind of like a hawker, but more like fair food. So we'll give you a show of that. And then we're just gonna keep walking around looking at the lakes. <laughs> looking at the lights, not the lakes. We got distracted. Oh. We're just playing with the bubbles now. Last year the 
theme here was like countries of the world, so I thought it was just the same all the time. But this year is really cool. They have got like African safari, Southeast Asian animals, and my absolute favorite section is just behind us. That is like the underwater like scuba divers, whale sharks, uh, dolphins, and it's like just the underwater world. Very, very, very cool. the lights I thought that was really cool but he had a relatively okay time I think I pushed it and it's a little bit too late I'm super exhausted it's only seven more weeks until the baby comes so we are ready it's 8 30 we're all going to sleep overall light show pretty cool if you're around to check it out definitely do and then I hope you all have an amazing mid-autumn festival and we will see you on the next one